mental problem. And in the prison, there are psychologists, there are sociologists, and there's people, those are the people that take care of them. So when they study you and they see that you have mental problem, then they have to change you, remove you from there to those who are mentally handicapped. The other one that you didn't see, those who have contagious diseases, you cannot mingle all of them. Someone will go out, go and work, and then bring in some disease. So when they find out that there is a certain type of disease, they segregate them also and put them at one place. So we have five types of prison, and all these five types are just on this stretch. The government feed them three times a day. The motto of the prison is reformation and rehabilitation. Reformation because if someone is reformed, he will not go back and do what he did again. For example, it may happen that the person is not skillful and uh, he needs a job, so he went and cut someone's plantain. He was arrested and sent to court and then they jailed him six months or one year. Why did you go and steal someone's plantain or cassava? Or uh, break someone's door and enter into his room and did this and that. As a result of that, the sociologists and the psychologists in prison, when they bring this person to prison the first day, they will interview, they will also do their work, interview this person, and then let the person know that you have been sentenced or you are brought to this place as a result of what you did, your misdemino that are brought you here. The way you think, the way you act is different. So whilst you are here, we need to put you insane. As a result of that, we are going to teach you. Humble yourself, do this, do that, do this, do that, don't do this, don't do that. All those things will be taught. Whilst you are engaging you, you also tell, I'm sorry. Um, sometimes even they ask you, what work do you want to do? I want to be a carpenter. I want to be a, a, a mechanic. I want to do this. I want to do that. After serving a certain number of years in there, they'll bring you out to the carpentry shop, to the mason shop, to the tailoring shop, um, and other uh, uh, skilled area. Then you go through apprenticeship. So that by the time you get out, you are skillful on a certain trade that you'll be able to use it that will benefit you and then your wife or your husband. And then society will take you on again so that you will not commit the same crime again.